everybody, welcome, it's Michelle Newton here at the Angels Toolbox with your weekly Angel Feather Oracle reading for Christmas week ahead, Monday the 21st of December through to Sunday the 27th of December. I'm doing my first live reading here at the AOK Healing Centre in Kyala, Shepparton, Victoria and I have my beautiful Christmas tree around me and all my Christmas angels so it's going to be a very special reading. For those of you who are not in Australia just to let you know it's over 40 degrees here today so it's really warm but beautiful and cool in the AOK -OK Healing Centre. So here we go this week Christmas week we have a very rare full moon on Christmas Day the 25th and this is all about your destiny in the world your profession, your reputation and could lead to things like promotions and pay rises and things like that. So all the best for the full moon on Christmas Day. So we'll go to the cards and we'll call in our beautiful angels which we don't need to do here in the centre because they're everywhere. And we will choose three cards for the week ahead. There you go, the cards have clumped for Christmas week. The first card the start of the week is the blue angel feather, accept life as it is. The angels are here to advise you that you will feel a calming inner peace and peace of mind when you stop trying to control everything in your life. Well, that's a very important card going into Christmas, isn't it? We're always so busy, there's lots to do, there's shopping, there's gifts to buy, food to prepare. So the angels are just saying this is very much about going with the flow, and in Australia trying to keep cool as well. Now the second card, middle of the week, which will include Christmas Day, is Chartreuse Angel Feather Travel Plans. The angels are here to advise you that travel is coming up for you. This will be associated with work or a well-earned holiday. So this could be that you're going to travel to your loved ones for Christmas, Boxing Day. It's also very much about safe travel. So the angels will guide you as you travel to your Christmas functions. If you've got loved ones coming home, ask the angels to surround the planes, the buses, the boats, however they're arriving. Okay, so that's safe travel. So that's really a beautiful card for those who are expecting relatives in. And the weekend, the indigo angel feather, time to meditate. The angels are ready to assist you with development of your psychic perception and visual acuity during meditation. So we'll have a look at these three cards sitting together. As I said, beautiful cards going into Christmas week. Just go with the flow at the start of the week. Try not to rush too much. Take your time and in Australia keep cool because we are really, really in a heat wave over here. Safe travel, if you're going to be travelling or family, that's a great card around Christmas Day and Boxing Day. As the full moon is on Christmas Day the 25th, I would advise you to, if you can grab a minute, to sit down and write out the things that you want to let go of so that they will travel away and leave you. So things that are weighing you down, worries, that type of thing, write them down, burn them, get rid of them, let the angels take them away and that will be great. Send them out into the universe, that's what the angels are saying to me. And the weekend, quite a spiritual time. If you reconnect with the true meaning of Christmas, Perhaps you might go to church or a service of some description or just connect with your angels and with God on the weekend after all the rush is over. Take time to give thanks for your beautiful family, the blessings you've had in your world this year and for your angels. So it's a beautiful reading going forward. I wish you a beautiful Christmas. I'm so sorry that it's taken so long for me to finally get in front of the camera again. The Healing Centre has now been open for six months. It's bringing great joy and much love to many, many people. So I hope that one day I can see you here in person at the AOK -OK Healing Centre. And I wish you and your family the most beautiful, blessed Christmas. I'll see you back here next week for the New Year reading. Bye.